Hi, it's Donovan Everett from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Breeders in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Are we on to race number six? Your last chance to play a pick three. This is over 1,200 meters, a Phillies and Mare 78 handicap. And uh, let's bring up the field. Now, Sheldon, I really like the horse here who I penciled in last time out as one to follow if she gets a draw. And unfortunate <laughs> that she's now gone 12 out of 13 because look at the draws that she's handed her two runs. Uh, on the poly track, her name is Crown Plaza, 12 out of 15, 10 out of 12, carrying big weights, and she's really motored on, I mean, 22.2 seconds, 22.4 seconds, she's ran on really strongly, and uh, I just said, you know, if she just get a decent draw, maybe in the first half of the field, or even around, you know, 7 out of 12, or 7 out of 13 runners, anything, you know, around that mark, I was going to go for her in a big way, but she's again just on bad luck with the draws which is against her but then again you know we all watch races and the one thing is you don't want to change a horse's running style you know certain horses they that's the way they race you can't hustle and bustle them out the starting stalls you're going to leave them where they're comfortable like you know during the week start choice is a prime example she was drawn three but she was at the back of the field because that's the way she races so maybe that's just the way she enjoys being ridden nowadays. And maybe the, that, that draw could be a blessing for her. Yes, yeah, some horses just seem to run better from outside draws. She might be the type that had she had an inside draw, she gets caught in a pocket and doesn't get the clearest of passages. Yeah. So two local runs for bad draws. Now three local runs, another bad draw. But promising the way that has been finishing in that last 400 to finish. And obviously tactics-wise, the quicker they go, if you can just slot into three quarters of the way back, the last 300 meters to finish, Crown Plaza obviously finished third to Dancing Girl, mm. and then second to Princess Deb last time out. A little bit of luck in the running could be the horse that they all have to Does beat. Does the race stop there though? I don't think so. I like a bit of number two, Sultana, who's trading at around 12 to 1. And when you look at this as horse's overall form, some fair earlier form in the 95s and the 86 handicaps and the 90s. And then last time I liked a little bit of Sultana. I thought we'll come on with the run. And I had a little bit of an each way nibble and just managed to last home. Type of horse that could go back to back, and I think between our two runners, number two Sultana and also number five Crown Plaza, maybe the guys can take some exactors box and some swingers, and they might be able to find some value. I agree. And then, um, if, if you're playing it wide, if you're not convinced with the runners that we uh, spoken about, I had a look at some of these horses. I think you have to respect Comnider's run and drive by. Wire, wire, well, this horse has to go into everything. That local debut wasn't the worst behind Pedra, gets the services of Samanga. Stolen Kiss, Tara Lang's runner. And then Sheldon likes a Ruffy number two, Sultana. And my Ruffy in the race is number 13, Conquer the World. But I can tell you, and I'm sure Sheldon will confirm this, the runner that we both haven't touched on is this three-year-old called Murmur. I'm almost certain that when I had a look at the quick look at the betting, this, is this horse priced up favourite? At around I think seven was, to two. Around yes, I think two. was the marginal favourite. On, on the strength of the two-year-old form, I mean all those features and all that, but uh, I don't know. I'm not convinced. Uh. Got to have to see. 56 kilograms on the back and a one-time winner from the eight runs to date. Gets a top rider for a top stable. And this daughter of Dynasty has taken on some decent opposition. Drops back to the 1,200. Did win over 1,200 earlier on and then ran behind Cliff Top. So with definite ability. But as you mentioned, you can't go in very confident. Newly turned three-year-old is up against it. Yeah, I, I also think so. I think both Sheldon and I will be watching this race keenly because there's lots of form to work around. Sheldon's found a nice roughie there in Sultana. I think Crown Plaza sets the standard regardless of the poor draw. Conquer the World is a nice roughie to include. There'll be followers of Wire Wire. And then Murma, we're not discounting the charges. Please don't get us wrong. The source does have a reputation. I know that from the Alan Creates stable and the fact that he's engaged the services of Richard Free. Keep an eye on the betting market. Personally, I think you'll get much bigger than 7 to 2.
I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account.